for me is uh, is uh, kind of where I was uh, I've been invited to uh, to work on the show because I um, I I don't know him um, in person. Uh, I just um, that is the year he passed away. Uh, so fourteen years, you know, in that time. So uh, two thousand eight, and then he passed away two thousand nineteen ninety four. So and then I uh, 1994 I I'm I'm just a year two student so that's why I, it's no chance for me to meet him, but and then but uh, you know the first book so the book I just uh, uh, passed here that that is a book uh, Zhang Yi gave me, so he told me this is the artist you have to know. So when I'm studying in uh, in uh, um, in Chinese U, that means Zhang Yi liked him so much. And um, and uh, but I think they never say that, you know, just as you say, he, he never say that. So for my research is, um, I, I try to know this person not from the book, but um, and then I ask a very, um, I want to make friends uh, with his friend, his best friend, and then also I want to make friends of him in person. But because he's passed away, how can I make the friends in person? So I say I will, I will try my best to um, to be his uh, best girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and then uh, I uh, I have to know uh, what he like, how's his uh, schedule, how's uh, uh, how what what is the uh, favorite beer he like, uh, uh, like uh, um, also. Uh, like uh, how is the home uh, studio setting? And uh, Susan told me everything. And <laughs> yeah, his wife, <laughs> ex-wife. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. So, so anyway, so uh, so Susan told me everything. And then also Susan told me something about um, about who is uh, like a very friend friend. It's not like an artist friend. It's just friend. For example, um, Liang Gatai, Elman Ju. So um, and then, and then I said, oh, so many famous artists. So I want to, so and then I asked her, can I, you know, because I don't know him. Maybe I can learn something from all these people. I say, maybe I can, um, I can like a a, a shift like a, he pass all his uh, friendship to me. So that is what I have from the show. So and then I set it up uh, to say to visit his best friend and then also please their best friend, uh, his best friend. <laughs> so, and then become, yeah, like Leung Ga Tai and Ji, we start a friendship from there. Now we still are very good friends. And then we, we visit, um, we, we visit um, and are marked uh, um, in Qingming, in Qingming Festival. Yeah, that is the first year we did. Uh, and then uh, actually uh, five years uh, bit later, and then we did it again. So this is the kind, so I'm really a friend of him. And then uh, to prove that, I, I, I try to convince the curators uh, <laughs> there, I say, um, if he like me, if he want to be friend of me, he will come into my dream. So that's why I set up the bed there. And uh, I say, uh, if he want to be friend of me or if he uh, satisfy what I did for him in that um, actually, it's a two years of pre preparation. So, and then I say, if he like it, so he will come to my dream. So I, I uh, apply and apply to, you know, trying to, uh, to get these approvals done, and uh, try to behave very well. Like uh, when I cooking coffee, you know, first serve to the security guard, and <laughs> and also um, I told them. Uh, I I wouldn't do anything dangerous, uh, like for example the chisels, because I want to set up. It looks like a studio. So what um, my studio is a, is a sculptor's a carving studio. So and then I say I have to uh, put my all the uh, the saw or or uh, the chisels or whatever is there. So the museum people say, oh, it's dangerous, you know, because it's so open. And then so people start to um, to. Uh, to to let maybe just uh, let the set up can I my files there so I just uh, in the same time you can see the whole settings uh, 
from the uh, from the from the space with the carpet. Uh, yeah, that, that way. So and then you see this is a, like a with a very nice carpet, but and then we took it out, and then we set it up, and. So this is a, like a studio looks like a, because I trying to um, to say I'm the studio mate of Antonio Mac. So actually in that uh, 70 days, some of their old friends even thought I really was uh, his studio mate, so like a mystery. <laughs> so and then, and then uh, but I told them this is all from my research. It, all the uh, Susan told me, for example, like. Uh, in his uh, studio have a long big table. So, and then I create the long big table with all the tools there. And then he told me the schedule, like Antonio's, uh, uh, you know, we're very hard from, uh, very regularly, uh, start from nine o'clock and then two to, um, two to five. It's just like, a, just like a working in the office. So he's a very, you know, got very schedules. Uh, he's a very scheduled person and uh, also, um, so that is uh, from this angle, and another side is uh, two to eight, right here. Yeah, yeah, good job. Yeah. So this is a uh, two angle. So for that, um, so actually I have a much longer. So, so this is uh, all about setup. So you can see very um, clear uh, clearly is the uh, the carpet is a take off, and and they told me that is uh, like a first time. They allow the um, people can drink, can um, can sleep, and can smoke there, <laughs> and dance there. It's a kind of like a very open uh, space. So what do you say about the Bohemia's uh, uh, period? That's why uh, I want to create this uh, space in the museum because in that time, uh, ten years ago, can you imagine they? They allow me to do that. It's amazing. I have to thanks to the chief curator at that time. They let me sneak in uh, for two nights. So security guard just just don't see me. I just don't move. I just slept there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but <laughs> Anton, Antonio didn't, didn't come to my dream. So I was very sad. In the last day, I say I will forget <laughs> this guy. <laughs> 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 move on. So um. This is uh, very interesting uh, about the study of the another artist because uh, we all read the people uh, from the book, from the historian. So, uh, what about his um, his his real person? The, because I'm an artist, I always care how much the people need to know about me. Um, yeah. So, and then even for the collection, because some of the work, even the bad one. Uh, is um, is inspired from his uh, later uh, work. Uh, from the book, you can find this picture, uh, this work's picture. Um, I got this one. It's after the show, yeah, because uh, Susan know how much I like his his work, especially this one. I mentioned that because I I like this letter. It's not the uh, very strict one. It's not very regular one you saw. It's a, it's a, like a melting one. And then uh, it's a very comfortable yeah, position. And then because uh, it's supposed it's a tooth, you go to somewhere, but it's melting now here. And uh, uh, for me, it's uh, like a big, big jewelry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good one. And uh, uh, so, and also uh, I have another collection, it's a sneak, da, da ha ti. So it's a, it's a, you know, for me, it's a very, uh, because uh, I know, David, you have uh, all these, uh, uh, um, all the analyze of uh, his uh, his work, everything. But for me, I try to know him is more in personal way. So what my collection is uh, is also like uh, you know just uh, jumpy and uh, is uh, for fun in that way. I think that is another side of uh, artists in that period as well, uh, because now is that uh, we we have to pretend we are very academic and a teacher. <laughs> 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 so and but. But that is another side of an uh, artist. They can create something uh, full of imagination, very energetic, and then but it's continuously to work. And also, they don't even look at the 
market. That is a very important. If you have that get, um, get that kind of sense, you you know what you are doing. You are only work of photo art. So this is a part I I, I, I do um, appreciate. And also for that open space, I met a lot of um, artists. So 2008 for me is uh, the year I just back from uh, from New York. At that time, I I felt myself is like. Um, I totally like uh, lost the connection with the Hong Kong, and I try and uh, ask myself, what is the contemporary art in Hong Kong? So that is the seven uh, seven days uh, like uh, open chat with so many people, audience, and then to ask them, what is the contemporary art you thought? So uh, so that is the kind of uh, I'm creating a space. Also inside there is a meditation room. There is a, you see the blue one. Uh, actually, I was uh, curious about um, about why the why the great sculptors are men, and that's why I make the small little things to and new is myself. You see the little one in the corner there. So that is me. <laughs> um, in that horn, actually, uh, in the back, I create a sound. It looks like uh, he's snoring. He's, uh, he's a man of mine. He's uh, just sleeping in another room or another world. So people can hear like a little breathing uh, from that horn. And, but in the same time, I keep asking myself why I'm doing the word delicate to a man I don't know. So I want to send myself kind of like a messenger. So. So that is my back uh, to him. Also, kind of uh, um, uh, meditation is because in the uh, actually the corner here uh, that is a room. So in the here in the in the entrance, almost the entrance of the room, that is a Guangyin. Is a uh, he's a female's uh, Guangyin in in front of here. So and then I say, oh, he like Guangyin. So I put myself in the corner. Uh, not many people notice, but that is the, my part to think uh, why in, in that time, because uh, people keep saying, oh, looking for Antonio Mayer, and I think why the people were looking for a uh, male sculptor but not the female, female one, and then also um, what will be us, you know, in the future, so who will remember us or um, who will be there? Um, so there's uh, many, many questions that uh, uh, arouse during the show and also even after that. But anyway, I, I try to forget this man. <laughs> <laughs> you can see different kind of uh, sculptures where he's concerned with the moving figure and probably quite strongly related to the, the photos in this book, which are really a kind of uh, useful kind of guide for, for, uh, for, for artists to... To, to work with. So one of his sources. So we have two things here that is sort of <laughs> related to his house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it is very good to follow up with the master of animation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Hello, everybody. So uh, I'm Nico Lo Ji Ying, and uh, it's, it's really some kind of miracle. I don't know. It's really just. Just a good timing for 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 I'm here because, you know, I've been a friend of Antonio for not long time actually, but uh, we we are good friends. I mean, uh, for some years, and uh, the interesting thing is, at the time I 
I tried to make a documentary about him, but the film was never finished. And because the film is in uh, video format, in uh, the very rare Betamax format, so uh, the, 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 the tape was uh, in my warehouse for a long time. And then the, just two weeks ago, I, I took it out. And then I, I got some friends of mine, still got a very good Betamax uh, recorder, video recorder. And then we tried to transfer it into, I mean, the digitize it and uh, it worked really worked and uh, and uh, yeah it, it's really really lucky that I still got the film uh, because of video and then uh, but tonight I'm just going to show you some uh, screen captures because the film is not finished and I'm going to uh, edit it and then something like that but uh, maybe I'll talk about something about uh, me and uh, Antonio because um, maybe I'll uh, show it later. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. um, actually, I know about him. Uh, I, I, I know his younger brother first, actually, in 1981 or something. His, his younger brother, Ma Jin Ming, um, after graduated from uh, Bournemouth Art College in, in England, and he come back to Hong Kong and, bring his, and then brought his work the title is Inspiration, the short film, and then he uh, he, 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 he took the film to, uh, to enter the, the Hong Kong Independent Film Festival at the time. That, that festival is somewhat like IFVA now, nowadays, the early version of IFVA. And at, at that time, I, I, I was an animator. Uh, even now, I'm an animator, actually. So, um, I, I also got some works uh, entering the, the, the film uh, competition. And then uh, I and uh, Mark Jin Ming become friends. And at the time, I don't know about anything about Antonio. But from Mark Jin Ming, he always mentioned about his brother. His brother is a great artist. His brother is uh, work is great. And he always say that he will show his show, show me to, to, to his brother, something like that. But uh, actually, my first time, uh, first time I met An Antonio is um, in the office of Film, the magazine. It's no longer published. It's Film, Film by Weekly magazine at the time. At the time, I, I was a regular writer for that magazine, for a, a column on animation. And then I always go to the office and finish my work. And uh, one time, uh, Antonio come with uh, some statues because he's going to make the trophy for the Hong Kong Film Award. It's, uh, it was presented by, organized by the film, by Weekly Magazine. So um, that's the first time I met Antonio. And then I told him, I know your younger brother. We're good friends. And then he said, oh, we just also come play with us <laughs> sometime. <laughs> I said, OK. And then, after that, actually, um, for that time, I, 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 I was working in RTHK as an animator. So uh, I, I, I have regular uh, office hours or something. So actually, I'm quite busy, because uh, even after work, I go to the um, film company to make special effects for them, because at that time, it's a golden age for Hong Kong movies. and. Uh, Every movie needs special effects at that time because no computer that also everything is handmade. So uh, animator is very desired at that time. So um, I'm so busy, but still, uh, sometimes I met uh, Antonio's brother because I don't know. Actually, we, we have quite different characters, but he's so friendly and he always asks me to come to come to join uh, some some kind of party or something like that. Actually. And then I, I, I began to, 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 to go to, um, at first I go to a, a younger brother's home, and then later I go to uh, Antonio's studio. It's located in Queens East, uh, a, a very big old mansion, and uh, Western Mansion, something like that. Yeah, it's really nice place, really nice place, a very big mansion. 
And then most of the time, actually, how to say, um, I know I know nothing about him. Actually, I know that he's a sculptor, but uh, I saw his work. But I like his work because it's quite playful for me. But because I'm an animator, I don't know much about that sculpting. But uh, still, I, I'm of course I'm interested in his work, and I only feel that uh, Antonio is very nice to me. Actually, maybe maybe because I'm nine years younger than him, he treat me as just like another brother or something. And we talk so much, of, of course, most of the topics are just chit chat and uh, um, uh, movies, old movies, uh, old comics, uh, I mean, uh, old uh, uh, music. And uh, once in a while, we'll go to Cat Street to, to, to find treasures. I mean, he likes old things, old stuff, uh, old books, old magazines, or something like that. He collects them. And uh, that's the major activity, activities for me and him. And uh, I remember during 1985, I think, 85, um, Antonio called me uh, to his studio. He said he want to, he, he asked me to make a documentary about his friend, not him. You know, <laughs> you know why? At the time, you know, I, I I was an animator, actually. Of course, I, I have shown my work to Antonio. He loves it. He said that I don't know it's true or not, but an anyway, he, he, he the show's interest in uh, animation because uh, he likes movies. He likes watching movies, and, and so. Um, but I have to say, because at that time I, I I want to make more animation, but during the, the early '80s, actually, there's a shift of. Uh, Techniques in uh, making movies, something because uh, before that we use uh, film to make animation to make film, but at that time, um, uh, video becomes more popular because uh, people use uh, video camera to make home movies or something. Although most people don't make animation, they just make home movies or something. So um, at that time, I mean during the early 80s, I I I, I can't find actually it's very hard to find a movie camera to buy, I mean, good cameras. All the, the uh, uh, I mean, the most uh, companies just selling video cameras or something, but at the time, the video camera can't make any animation. So, during that time, I, 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 I tried to make something with moving images, but uh, I found that it's really hard to make animation at that time. So I to do some video work, some kind of documentaries and some kind of uh, something, what we call at the time is experimental work, but I think not that experimental. And um, Antonia know me, know, oh, uh, so, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to this, uh, because Antonia know that I have, I, I at, that, at that time I, I used big money at that time, more than $10,000 at that time to buy the Sony video camera, which is quite professional or something like that. So he asked me to um, make a documentary about his friend. At that time, he knows some a new friend who is, uh, uh, what is it? The Mantis Feast, is it Tong Long Kun, you know? <laughs> Zhou Ga Tong Long, it's Chow's family Mantis Feast. It's a master of that. The, the man is Master called master. some kind of Chinese martial art. And the, uh, the, the, the name for the master is Zhong Wei Tong. And then, because uh, that 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 master is more or less the same age as Antonio, and they become good friends. And then, at that time, uh, Antonio is very enthusiastic in Chinese uh, martial art or something. So um, he he learns Mantis speech from him, and then he asked me to make a documentary about this master. So okay, I say it's okay, but uh, the, I mean the content is up to me. I I I, I want to in this way, something like that. And he said, oh, no, no problem. Just make your own movie. I mean, I make your own film, something like that. So I asked the master to to to, to, <laughs> to perform at the, at, the, at the pit, at the pit, and uh, sometimes <laughs> on the street, something like that. Um, and uh, it, it, it was pretty short, actually. I took a lot of footage, but uh, I finally I edited for 
15 minutes or so because actually I feel quite boring because uh, <laughs> the, I mean the action is more or less the same but Antonio is very satisfied I mean he's, he's, he loves the video very much I hope uh, I can show you the film actually I, I, I also finally the, the, put the video yeah uh, it's funny actually so um, so that becomes but this film I mean this video of Matthew's feet um, becomes something that uh, come to my mind that yeah, maybe I can make a, a video for Antonio because I, I, I think that he's a good character to, to, to a film because uh, during that time you know um, of course I, I, I didn't meet him very much but uh, because most of the time I, do, I have to work but uh, Sometimes on Saturday night we have Saturday night fever. I mean, I just uh, we I uh, brothers and some friends just go to Antonio's house and then we'll we'll talk talk about everything, but not apart from uh, art art creation or something. We just talk about uh, gossip of, of other artists or something, and uh, also <laughs> to talk about music. Yeah, <laughs> and one most important thing is you know yeah 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 when. When we talk about that, he's very talkative, you know. <laughs> and and, and uh, what he needs, I mean, Antonio needs only barbecue duck and Qingdao beer. That's <laughs> most these two essential things that he wants. Yeah. It's only he he didn't need other things. He he, he didn't eat rice, so he did he need uh, protein. He doesn't need those things. He only needs barbecue duck and Qingdao beer. That's the most critical. He can drink and eat all day for <laughs> that. And yeah, that's his favorite. I mean, and the the origin of creation, he says so. And and uh, so so we we talk we talk whole night, and then I sleep uh, I slept there with some friends, and then uh, because the next day is Sunday, I didn't have to go to work, so uh, we can get up late, and then we. Start talking or something, and, and uh, when I plan to make the video, actually I talk to him. I want to make something about you, but in my own way, I say, and he say, just do it. What I can do anything you want. I mean, to to to, to video to take. So um, so next year, I mean, 1986, uh, uh, January actually is Sunday time. I I go to his studio and then I bring him. I brought my uh, extensive video camera, and then I, 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 I start to, 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 to shoot something about him. And uh, at the time, what I think about is this video is not a documentary, not an exactly a documentary about him. So I'm not going to interview him. And because I think as an artist, there should be some people already take some uh, interviews or or take some video about him as an artist, as a sculptor, but not me, because I know him as a, as a friend and something like that. So I want to I want to take some other side, you may say, of him. And because at that time, I, I have already did some video work. And most of my, my work is uh, I, I, I have just filmed some, some footage, and then I edit together as some music, and then I I will I will I will do the narration or something like that in this kind of format, and but Antonio say that ne I he 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 didn't mind what I will edit or what what I will do just just shoot what I want to do, so I asked him at the time I only folk I, I I want to take something about his daily life, and uh, and and then he proposed. Uh, uh, May I? He said, "May I perform some tai chi?" Tai chi. <laughs> I, 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 I said, oh, "Okay, if you want to, I'll take you." But uh, without your clothes, he said, oh, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> because it's more, uh, you know, it's 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 funny with doing tai chi with your clothes on. So he said, "Okay," <laughs> and then, you know, and then I. I want to focus on his hand because uh, I think because he's a sculptor, 
and then he, he, he did his, I want to work with his hands. So I, I want to take something with his hands. So I asked him to wash his hands, do something in water, and uh, I, I, I showed some footage with his hands on his work or something. And uh, of course, I, I also take some footage on eating the barbecue ducks and drinking mm -hmm. and smoking, of course. And I, whole day, I mean, I, the, 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 the shooting takes whole day from uh, noon to night time. And the video lasts for 48 minutes, actually. Of course, this is only one part, first part of my film, actually. At that time, I, 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 I thought that I can make some more about him. Um, but I don't know why. The project is stopped at that time. I mean, I, 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 I'm not, how to say, I, I, I didn't say that I'm not going to make the film, but at the time, after the, 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 the filming, uh, we, we, we all become busy, and uh, I, I always think that uh, I can continue to, I, I will continue the, the, the filming later on. And then, but it, it's put away somewhere. And um, next year, I, I also did some other new uh, video works, and also I showed it to him, but he never asked me how about the, the, the video we, we took last time. He never asked about that, so I, I, I didn't have any pressure on that, so I just put it aside. And, uh, and then he, he went to New York for, for a few years, and then uh, the next I mean, the last actually the last time I, I met him is around 19, 1990, 1990 something. Because at the time we we were both uh, uh, speakers in uh, in the summer art camp. At that time, the Hong Kong Art Center every year they have uh, some kind of summer art camp, and then uh, for four days, three nights, and then they invite some artists to, 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 to do some talks and, and workshops. At that time, I, 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 I organized an a animation workshop in, in inside the camp, and then, and then Antonio is one of the, the speakers for the sharing on uh, his sculpting and then something, and then we met once again in around 1990s. At that time, I, I, I told him, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a new animation. I mean, actually, that's also my last animation, my last independent animation. It's called the City of Suicide, and then he gives some, he gave some advice on, on the film actually, and then I also talk mentioned about the the, the video project that a few years ago, and at that time I say that uh, maybe I will add some animation into, I mean, I will add my animation into the video to make it more interesting. And they say, it, it's okay, whatever you like, maybe you can use my work. Uh, I mean, he, he said, yeah, maybe you can use my drawing as some characters and make it move. So he would be happy to see that. And then, so at the time I bear in mind, but, but still, the project never finished. I mean, nothing. But interesting, actually, another year I make, an, because at that time I was still working in RTHK, and then I have a special project. And uh, I cooperate with another director to make a documentary on Louis Chen. I do the animation, and then some some director make the documentary. And then actually the format is something like, I mean, uh, Louis Chen is just David mentioned is uh, Tefoxin actually. Uh, so maybe you can see the the this documentary in the the RTHK uh, homepage or something. I don't know. It's a one hour documentary. It's with my animation of uh, Louis's characters is funny, actually. Yeah. And uh, it's a pity that I never finished finish my, my video, but uh, luckily I can get it out and then get it digitized. And then I, I think I will try to <coughs> re edit the whole thing and then to give it a new look and show it to everyone. <coughs> I don't know, it, it, it's <coughs> because I, I, I haven't watched the video for more than 30 years, actually. And uh, last week when I <coughs> got the, the DVD, I was really moving because it's like uh, 
good thing some old friend or something. So I told you some uh, uh, these are just uh, I, I just some uh, photos that I took I took from the studio. This is a mansion. You can just Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is he performing the Tai Chi. <laughs> you know? Qingdao <laughs> beer and Marlboro. <laughs> this one we, we, we bought from Cat Street. Yeah. Some kind of old book. This is inside his bedroom. Actually, it's a very small one, small bedroom. It's small back, but uh, yeah, two people can sit. Up on it, and then yeah, he's inside. You know, I I want to I want to film him uh, when he sleep, and then he woke up something. So he he he. <laughs> this is what he <laughs> gathered he from. Woke yeah, just woke up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nice because uh, yes, he really. D I I mean I mean, I I asked him. Oh, you. Uh, you can you just uh, do something with him? And he said, no problem at all. Thank you. <laughs> so he's uh, doing some hand performance with water. This is holding his work and then uh, something. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think there is nothing more moving and emotional by hearing friends to talk about their memories about one person. And I think tonight must be a lot of people who know Mark or uh, want to like to share your memory with Mark or if anybody wants to comment or any questions to uh, our guest, I'm now open to the floor. Yes, this is the space where they they first showed the uh, out of uh, out of the con out of contact show, and uh, luckily, uh, David brought the catalog, and this is like a very rare copy. I don't even have that. I, I think A A <laughs> might have that, and yeah, <laughs> but because David has in, uh, was involved in that project, so maybe David would like to talk more about this project. Yeah, I wasn't really involved with the Out of Context. I was involved with the Mobile Art Show, which was the other show that followed on, and many of the same people were involved. Actually, I think the Mobile Art Show was the more important one because <laughs> it actually went out into the streets and connected to real Hong Kong audiences, and it ended up coming to some political things. Like uh, uh, when we took it to Victoria uh, uh, Park, uh, the park guard say, no, you can't put up that. That slogan is political. You can't put it up. <laughs> and then we come to a typical Hong Kong compromise. Oh, we can lie it down on the ground. Th then it's not a slogan. Then it's just art, and that's okay. And then when it was in um, in Central, there were uh, in front of Legco, as it was then, there were ballot boxes that were closed up because to say no democracy. So it became a more complicated thing. So I, I, I actually, I, I can't remember, and I can't remember Antonio's work in the Out of Context. Antonio's uh, work was in maybe. the 1987 version. And just to let you guys know, uh, I'm a researcher from AA, and uh, just two weeks ago, we launched a, a research collection uh, based on the Out of Context book. It was a project that uh, we did a couple of interviews with people who organized and participated in uh, Out of Context. And it was a project to uh, use exhibition to invest in the 80s Hong Kong art history. And uh, I think Out of Context, there, there were two versions of it. The first one was in 1987. Antonio Bach was one of them. Uh, uh, and the other one I think was in 1988. 
and that is the mobile art show, which uh, I think... Yeah, they, they were two different things, but there was some continuity of theme. But the, the mobile art show was more uh, more open to different part people's participation, and there was a longer kind of planning discussion phase about, because it involved actually trying to create or meet an audience for Hong Kong art in Hong Kong people. <laughs> so that was a complicated project at that time. Uh, and so um, I, I, that's why I, I, th I think, uh, what I remember Antonio doing with the mobile art show was he had a truck bringing the sculpture. <laughs> and uh, it was quite a, 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 you know, a thing. Like a lot of stories about it. It's it's a it's like a legendary show, and and you just hear from people, different people telling you a little story about this, a little bit, a little story about that. Or for instance, like puzzles. Yeah, it's like putting together puzzles. It's like a uh, uh, like Hiram Ko, his work was actually sent back to Hong Kong by fax. And <laughs> yeah, there were several New York artists yeah. at the Epoxy Art Group, you know, yeah, who yeah. who sent their work back by fax, which yeah. is then. Uh, very advanced <laughs> technology. Yeah, at that time, you have to be considered a very uh, advanced uh, way of showing a work. Or I remember when the University of Hong Kong had one fax machine. You know, yeah. if you want to send a fax, you have to go to that one office. <laughs> Yeah, there a, a large part is in uh, 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 on the in the museum collection. Uh, coll I mean, the Hong Kong Museum collects a uh, uh, part of it, and uh, a large part is in private collector's hand. I think. And then uh, you might you have some you want to say. It's a mystery. I was. I, I recommend that they buy it <laughs> with the book. <laughs> with the book. <laughs> ah, so was it? And it's an image. Maybe yeah. there is an image in there. That's right. Yeah, it, I think it was called oh, something yeah. like. Tianshu, like the Xu, Xu Bing work was called later. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it there. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember it's all coming back to me now. So the book is one of his uh, themes that can come back. But the English title was something completely different. Something to do with elephants, I think. Thanks for the sharing. I just want to, I mean, the sharing actually got me, bring me back to a little bit of uh, memory and also encounters uh, that I had with the with the Korean art. Um, the period between 1989 and the first half of the 1989 at Sunshine, uh, where I worked uh, there for and the, the encounters all, is all happened, uh, you, if you remember in the old days at the French Club, there's a ram. There's a ram at the entrance between, and the ram is right next to the bar area. And the ram is also lead you to a little cafe and a theater. And then, then we have a, a couple of encounters uh, on the ram, because everybody who, who wants to buy drinks uh, have to go to the reception the big entrance, and then where we, we actually had uh, quite a, a series of uh, propping art, all, and, and, and in fact, these faces, like uh, uh, Antonio and Yang, uh, Yang Yang Chao, and, uh, and John Fong, and a few others, and Yuan Dongnong, and Yuan Dongnong is one of the very committed members of the group called studio uh, at the fringe at that time. So, and many others. 
uh, who uh, love to frequent, uh, who love to frequent at the fringe, uh, bar and cafe. So that's how we we, we came to know each other. And then I think I, I, I heard mention about you always in in a white uh, shirt, but carefully ironed, and and that is actually really impressive. And um, and 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 then at the later stage, uh, I I I had to actually know oh he is the scout he was the scout too, and then I've seen the uh, one or two pieces of your work maybe in in some catalog or whatever, and then I oh he is the and I saw his um, horse, and I thought oh this is beautiful. And this is also it that impressed me because um, uh, before that I I I love the horse horses, horses. Mm -hmm. and then the only impression of horses in in art is chui hook chui chui in in painting and I thought oh this is my and that was my first time knowing oh in Hong Kong there's a Hong Kong artist who. Who, 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 who sculpted beautiful the horses with dignity. I mean, the horses were really pretty. So that is, that's my impression, that we, we didn't really talk much because I was so, so committed to, to day and night work at the French Club at that point. But, uh, but these faces were registered in my mind. And uh, and I also remember her, uh, her, his younger brother, who who's actually very friendly, very very friendly, and uh, hello and so so on and so forth. And that was the that was the that was the memory. That was the memory. And then thereafter, because I I haven't been in Hong Kong for almost like nine to ten years, uh, uh, not involved in in the art. I was totally detached from the art and culture scene. Not until the, I, I am uh, uh, back in Hong Kong, uh, picking up the publishing, book publishing, and so on and so forth. And then 2008, um, I was at a position at the Museum of Art. And I was so happy, so happy to see his uh, full range, almost full range of exhibition that I haven't got a chance to see uh, before. So and 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 so on and so forth and and I I feel um, is is really valuable for some some organizations or artists or researchers to pick up um, the uh, uh, the research of a of a of a very talented. Hong Kong artist, and um, and I love to see it happen to many other artists, and um, and if anyone who happens to go to the French Club recently, actually they have been collecting a lot of uh, uh, collateral, you know, uh, newspaper, newsletter, whatever uh, collateral, and I found actually I found uh, one or two. Newsletter at that time, uh, uh, which was put together by the French Club, and there was some news and, and quotation and uh, uh, written about uh, on Google Maps. I mean, if any researcher who wants to do collecting and building on on the research, that can be very nice. So, and 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 all these uh, research material is actually open uh, to to public. Viewing, I think it's all in the wall of the of boxes at the French ball. <laughs> Mary's too moved to to <laughs> to forget to mention about um, Mary is actually the book publisher at MCCM, and the MCCM is going to co-publish with the uh, Hong Kong University Museum and Art Gallery a book featuring 400 to 500 drawings, unseen drawings and paintings um, of Etching and Mac. Uh, the book will come out in October, <laughs> later this year, so stay tuned.
any other want to share your memories or comments? and that was my first encounter with Antonio Mac at the exhibition. It was back then when we didn't um, manage to Instagram or photograph any art. So after, like, I did a few sketches, but I can't draw it all. I just draw the letters, the horses, and then when I was back home, I tried to Google him, but I couldn't find a lot of, like, articles about him online. So I'm actually really thrilled when I saw the room was named after him and there's this talk and then like books are being published. I think it's really precious for Hong Kong art history. Thank you. Yeah, I would also like to mention the slides and images that you're seeing now is very generous, provided by Blind Spot Gallery and the Susan in the last minute to provide those images for us. And yes, in the beginning also, we showcase again that the the news of the book. Um, yes. uh, actually, um, a little bit of reflection is after um, Lodin has spoke about his um, uh, like collaboration or his like um, time with Antonio Mac. I think uh, this journey of uh, putting up this room is truly like a miracle to me. It's, uh, at, in the first place, we, o we only thought of, oh, we wanted to name it after to a very important artist in Hong Kong, and also his pathway, um, have something that we, we would like to look a point to. And, but when, when it comes to, uh, we, put in, we, we decided to put up a sharing section about him, inviting people over, and then, in, indeed, it's just two or th two days, three days ago, I saw uh, Lo Jing's message on Facebook. And then I found that like Hong Kong has been rapidly developing, particularly the art scenes has been developed so fast in the past five to 10 years. And uh, we always, always found that um, the Hong Kong art scene is in some way very fragmented, uh, fragmented and between different medium, and also fragmented in between generation. And um, yeah, if, if we talk, uh, if we ask a lot of young artists today, uh, probably they don't, they know very little about Antonio Mark. And even though for me, I learned a lot more tonight. So I think, uh, I mean, it, it really ensured myself that this is really a, a good decision and and also I um I feel that like with this it seems like all the different threads had finally come together and also it will generate a lot more I I have this uh, uh belief indeed after tonight and uh, and also like like then I I noticed that uh, there is oh there's a, a um documentary is made uh, uh, about uh, Antonio Mark and. I think probably there are even more other materials out there that we didn't know. And this material would link us to other different puzzles that could also make a, a more complete picture of the Hong Kong art, uh, I mean the development of the Hong Kong art scene. Uh, particularly, I think that the 80s is a, a, a time that uh, it marks the foundation of uh, the contemporary development of the Hong Kong art scene. And which is like, um, I know a lot of uh, organizations are working on to um, try to get a, a, a more complete picture about it, like AAA and, and, and I think, um, I hope this will keep on going and I, I, I hope this spirit will keep on. And I think for us as like part of Parasite, we, we really want to uh, and, uh, welcome everyone to come again and again into this room and join the future activities. Yeah. Oh, just uh, just think of something. And uh, yeah, as an apart from an artist, actually, he, Antonio also participated in some commercial projects. Also, you know, in, in 1882, he 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 did the costume design for Sam Hoy's concert. So. You can find a YouTube 
you, you, you check for Sam Hoyt's 82 concert, and then there's a making documentary. Inside some footage showing Mac sketches of uh, Sam Hoyt's costume, and also he's <laughs> working with Sam Hoyt is there. It's very, very precious. Yeah, I just found it last week also, in accidentally in YouTube. So check it out. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, so with him and Sam Hoyt or something. Yeah, and a very Evan got design in this thing. <laughs> and so, wow, it looks like Spider-Man or something. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, yeah I think uh, uh, you want to show something? This is a cassette I got from Mike. Uh, that is uh, for Antonio's uh, last journey. Yeah, this is the chanting part. So I, yeah, I, I put it in my show also before. So this is a part of that. Um, I think we'll follow with uh, what Sarah was saying. We hope the spirit continue and with this chanting continue. I think it's a good closure for tonight. Thanks everybody for coming. And we look forward to the book and then look forward to the documentary. Thank you so much.